Good morning, Plum here playing World of Tanks. Welcome to Flash Borden's game in the uh, Type 4 Heavy. Is this game going to be boring? I don't think so. I think we're going to hear a lot of ricocheting going on. As, uh, <laughs> as Rich is fond to say, ricochet. That Irish fella that turns up from now and, now and then. Um, so we're in the Type 4 Heavy. Tier 9, super heavy tank. And the front of this tank... Let's just swing the camera around. <laughs> Most of the front of that tank is 250 millimeters thick, and when it's angled about sort of that angle, that gets up to about 260 to 265 to 270. Even those cheeks, there, that's kind of the weak spot really on the front of a type of heavy. When that cheek is flush to you, a bit like the uh, Liberty, that is relative. That's 200 millimeters there on that cheek bit sticking out, as far as I remember. Um, so, yeah, it's a uh, it's a tough nut to crack. Even that commander's, you know, his Capola, that's something like 250. There's no absolute weak spots. Anyway, we are rocking the 139.7mm uh, gun, damage of 600, penetration of 249. Ooh, there's our first uh, tasty kill. That was our 112, having a laugh. We decided to push up this road here. This is in, well, not road, this swampland. I don't like going this way because it is so hard to maneuver. But actually, this Type 4 Heavy does seem to have pretty good ground resistance because it's actually <laughs> not moving too badly. I thought it'd be just absolutely crawling along at a snail's pace. That's almost at walking speed. Incredible. Um, no artillery to worry about in this game. Now, there is still time, by the way, to enter the competition if you're watching this video today. Because this evening, if you're watching it on day of release, is the live stream. And you can enter my competition on my previous video to win yourself some artwork. You can enter it wherever you are in the world. There's our first point of uh, deflected damage from the Defender, 440. That counter is going to get very large. I don't know if there's room on the screen for all the numbers that are going to pop up on that. Um, anyway, we're not taking out the uh, the new gun yet. I imagine that's why he's playing it at the moment. He wants to get the 150mm uh, derp gun. We're already up to 1680. The T54 lightweight is having one hell of a time trying to penetrate us, even in the sides. And finally, he does actually do a bit of penetrating damage. Oh, we got a platoon, mate. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to uh, edit a bit of that chat out, boys, because that's not nice language. They're trying to motivate the team. I think noticeably the Pershing, perhaps, to uh, I don't know, get involved a bit more from sitting back there. I can understand why the Pershing probably doesn't want to get involved. You can see how many tanks are up here. <laughs> what are we up to? 3,700 bounce damage. I just said 3,700 and we're up to 4,300 in a matter of seconds. <laughs> they would like the uh, T-54 to be shot. Uh, where is the T-54? Up on the top of the hill. You'd like the, I think you'd like the Persian to try and engage that T-54 that's... Uh, why is that camera control? Just, just perked up there. We are getting the occasional bit of uh, damage coming in from the T-54. I think it's been does once. I think. <laughs> 6,300. 6,700 bounce damage. <laughs> I think he's quite happy just to sit here. He's uh, using the dead shell of a MT-25 to increase his uh, armor values on the front of his tank. <coughs> You're gonna give me a coughing fit, mate. <laughs> 8,120. Are we even halfway there yet to the damage he's gonna block? <laughs> T69 takes one in the face. T54 lightweight is up on the top of the ridge, still trying to get shots down on us. Um, <laughs> I think I prefer having camera control on this one, actually, because we're not seeing an awful lot that if I switch to camera, he's just aiming at the grass, mostly waiting for shots at turrets. Oh, we get a lovely kill shot on the Comet then. He showed us too much. I think this enemy team, they're just, they've got a rush, surely. They just need to push us. If they just push us, we'll be in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> His buddy, who has died, is uh, curious as to what his team, our team, are doing behind the church in chat. <laughs> Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. This is this is where the match is over here. <laughs> We're now up to 10,900 block damage. I just said 11,270 block damage. <laughs> this thing is top tier. Uh, it's the only top tier on our team now. They do have a tortoise sat back there. And uh, he seems unable to penetrate us. All we've done so far is take a little a hairline crackers appeared in our tank from a T-54 lightweight. 
and another bounce 250 added on to our little total that's running 11,700 damage blocked <laughs> I think I've done well when I get up to 4,000 damage blocked but we're nearly up to three times that much at the moment Four, another 400 incoming from the tortoise where are all these shots landing mostly it seems to be around the gun mantlet the top of the turret even the commander's hatch you won't get damage done there <laughs> it's, it's like a pinata this tank and a bunch of kids all around it just trying to get damage done we do take another little point of damage from the t69 hopefully our turret traverse is going to be quick enough at some point to snap another shot off and kill one of these guys at last they've actually been able to uh, flank around and suddenly the t54 is able to do a little bit of damage we've bounced 13,000 damage get a nice big hit into the t54 lightweight we are on our own no one is coming to help us no one is coming to help us they've got a defender sat back here who now he's got shots at the back of our turret Yep, manages to get a penetrating hit of 451. T69 also gets a penetrating hit. The T54 lightweight is struggling to keep his hit points. One more good hit from us and he's doomed. And I think he might be dead. Yep. Managed to take out the T54 lightweight. Oh my god, we're down to 310 hit points. Suddenly the hit points are melting away. We're up to 15,680. 16,010 and they finally, <laughs> the tortoise manages to uh, penetrate us and kill us. And... I think we did our job then, mate. I think you totally did the job you were required to do, which was keep that door resolutely shut for most of that game. Whew. Right, who do we watch? Oh, look, I can click around uh, dead tanks. Go back to your point of view. He's asking for him to keep capping and just get the win, because they have got some good tanks, and it's no... Yeah, I suppose the Tortoise is going to hold them up there, so yeah, if the T-43 can run interference, then maybe they can uh, just cap out here. Five more seconds. I'm struggling to find a camera viewpoint where it shows us some actual action, but uh, I think we'll leave it on that. I'm just going to remove the uh, thing and just leave a screenshot on that. They've capped out. They've won it. That tank did its job. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Let's take a look at his post-game stats. The new adventures of Ding. <laughs> there was a lot of dinging in that game. Only picks up his second class mastery. I imagine right now getting an ace tanker in this is incredibly difficult. So many people are playing it to get the new gun at the top end on this machine. Uh, picks up high calibre, almost ironically. Um, did you get steel wall? <laughs> Didn't you? I guess you, have you got a win to get steel wall? Well, you did win. Have you got survived? Why didn't you get steel wool? We blocked 16,160 damage. Why steel wool? Can someone answer that please? Why hasn't he got steel wool? I'm slightly perplexed. We certainly blocked <laughs> a lot. Cause more damage to enemy vehicles than the hit points of your vehicle. Yep. Ever so slightly confused. I'm not sure why he hasn't got steel wall or several other medals, it seems, doing all that uh, bouncing. I don't know. Uh, we did 4,600 damage, got two kills, got 995 base XP, but uh, really that game was really just solidly about that, that big number there. What a match. Thanks for sending it in, buddy. Um, you still have time to. Well, thanks, Stephen Miller, for adding a new photo in Facebook. Um, you've still got time to enter the competition if this video goes up today the live stream is tonight so check out that video i'll put a link to it in the end of this uh, video here and you can still enter wherever you are in the world that's the nice thing about this competition it's not um, server related it's uh, you're not winning gold or tanks or whatever you can uh, you can live in antarctica and i'll still post it to you it'll probably be a bit brittle when it gets there but uh, yeah maybe put it by the heater before you open it anyway thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed uh, the new adventures of ding I think I'll give that the uh, title for the thumbnail. Thanks, buddy. And uh, I'll be playing tanks tonight, so hopefully see you on the live stream and the giveaway. And uh, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Kaida pal.